The Yambu is one of the most prominent units in Naruto. They are considered elite ninjas and are used by the Kage in covert operations. Did you feel the strength of these people? And even among them, there were those who were so strong that no one had the courage to face them. Today we will talk about the strongest Umbu in Kanoha. And I will confess that there is a famous ninja among them that even I had forgotten that he was part of the Umbu. Come with us to get to know him. Hello everyone, welcome to the Nerd Ficando channel and today we are going to talk about the Special Tactical and Assassination Squadron, the most powerful Umbu of Kanoha. Each village has its own Umbu squadron and to be part of this select squadron, shinobi are hand-picked for their individual abilities and special skills. They serve directly to the Hokage on special high-level missions, so they wear masks during their missions to protect their identity. And let's face it, the masks also add that extra flair and help a lot to intimidate the enemy, don't you think? Even though the squad was made up of very strong special ninjas, there were those who stood out for their powers and abilities that made anyone tremble with fear. Every time the Umbu appear in Naruto and Naruto Shippuden we are a little disappointed. Despite being known as the Hell Squad, their appearances were a bit disappointing, just to say a few catchphrases or to narrate a fight, as it happened with the fight between Haruzen Saratobi and Orochimaru. So in this video we will talk about the strongest Umbu in Kanoha. And one of them is the legendary Umbu who leaves like in the video, and that ninja is you. Enjoy being part of the special tactics squad of the Nerd Ficando channel, and to be part of it, you just need to be a smart ninja who has subscribed to the channel and activated the notifications. Yakushi Kabuto. Kabuto was another notable member of ANBU. Initially, he had no intention of becoming a ninja, all he wanted was to raise money for the orphanage with his medical ninjutsu. In another one of his dirty tricks, Danzo searches the institution for a new spy and entrusted Yukushi Nono, the mother of the orphans, with this mission in exchange for covering the expenses of the orphanage, but with the condition of having the custody of the children. After Danzo's threats, Kabuto volunteered to go in her place and became one of the best spies Umbu ever had. The fact that he fooled the viewer himself already shows how amazing the character was in his role. Furthermore, his powers were compared to those of Kakashi and even Orochimaru. Ataki Kakashi One of the most beloved characters in all of anime, Kakashi, was not always this cool ninja that we know today. As a member of the Umbu, Kakashi played his role as a true genius and was one of the ninja to stay the longest in this squadron, about 13 years as an Umbu. At the time he joined, his cold heart and focused work was considered the perfect fit for the Kanoha Umbu, making him highly efficient and rarely failing in his missions. He performed various dirty jobs for the elders and was soon promoted to squadron captain. Besides being a ninja prodigy, having incredible powers such as Chidori, and being able to manipulate several elements, Kakashi also had the Sharingan that he gained from Obito, which made him known as the copycat ninja and earned him the reputation of knowing more than 1,000 jutsus. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't risk getting into a fight with Kakashi. Yamato One of the strongest ninja in Kanoha, Yamato was introduced in the anime as a temporary leader of the Kakashi team and has since earned his place in the story. His real name is unknown and he has had several codenames, being called Kino when he worked for Danzo in the root, Tenzo when he was part of Haruzen Zambu, and finally Yamato when he joined the Kakashi team. This last codename was given by Tsunade and was chosen by him to be his new name. As a child, Yamato was kidnapped by Orochimaru along with 59 other children to be used as guinea pigs in his experiments. He injected the DNA of the first Hokage in hopes of replicating the ability to use the wood style and only Yamato survived the experiment, making him a powerful ninja with rare abilities. Later, when he was recruited by Umbu, he excelled with the best performance ever recorded at the foundation, Sai. Another Umbu prodigy is Sai, and he was part of the root Umbu under Danzo's command. His espionage and infiltration skills were incredible. Over the years he was forced to eliminate any kind of sentience, especially after the death of his brother, which made him the perfect weapon. 
His specialty is ninjutsu sin art through his brushes, a rare and very powerful technique. When he assumed the position of provisional member of Team 7, together with Naruto and Sakura, his mission was to kill Sasuke, considered a risk to Kanoha, but he abandons the mission and the cold personality he developed for so many years to understand the feelings that made Naruto not give up his search for Sasuke. Aburain Toryun. One of the deadliest members of the Umbu, Toryun. After the death of his parents, Toryun was taken in by Shino's family, who considered him a brother. His body harbored very powerful poisonous insects, and although he had antibodies to the toxins, any other living thing that came in contact with him would have its cells destroyed. In other words, anyone who touched him would die. Danzo, as usual, taking advantage of the shinobi's sadness and suffering, recruited Toryun into the root Umbu. Toryun was so strong and powerful that he was one of the reanimated dead during the fourth ninja war. Achiha Itachi. At the age of 11, being considered a prodigy and the youngest member of the foundation, Itachi was part of the elite Umbu group, and at the age of only 13 he was promoted to be captain of his squadron. Later, as we know well, to prevent a coup d'etat and preserve the name of the Uchiha, Itachi killed his entire clan. Information still points out that this happened when he was only 14 years old, folks. This made him one of the most feared shinobi not only in Umbu, but in the entire ninja world. Even Danzo, a veteran, was afraid of Itachi, even though he was just a child. And after Itachi threatened to kill Danzo if he touched Sasuke, Danzo never did that, he only moved after Itachi's death. We can say that Danzo was scared shitless. Uchiha Shursue. One of the most memorable ninjas in the entire Naruto oeuvre, Shursue, was certainly a shinobi whose skills were kage level, despite being very young. Being a user of the Mangekyo Sharingan, it is no surprise that he was extraordinarily powerful. Using the powers of Koto Amatsukami, Shursue earned his position as one of the strongest Jinjutsu users that ever existed. However, all this potential was squandered, just as his death was, so that Danzo's dirty plot could move forward. Shimura Danzo. The leader of Kanoha's root Umbu, Danzo was a talent when it comes to being cold and calculating. In some ways, his powers could be compared to that of a Kage. At full strength, he had the ability to use multiple Sharingan at the same time and even the power to use Shursue Uchiha's Mangekyo Sharingan. This was further enhanced by the use of Hashirama Senju's cells, which Orochimaru implanted in his body. While not one of the strongest in the series, he was certainly one of the strongest in Umbu. Orochimaru. Being one of the legendary Sanin, he also did service for Umbu. This phase of his life came about when the Saratobi team was broken up shortly after the events of the Second Ninja War. He became a member of Umbu and shortly thereafter joined the route, coming under Danzo's direct orders and mentoring Anko. While much about his work with Kanoha's Umbu remains unknown, he is said to have worked on several covert operations. Incidentally, Danzo's arm is one of Orochimaru's jobs, in addition to several other experiments, like Yamato 2, for example. Now the most powerful Umbu is the one who got this far and left a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications, this is very important for you to receive our videos as soon as we post them. On the screen are passing two videos that are perfect, already click on the next that I'm sure you will enjoy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.